Foe. MMORPGRS, Roidy, and Mr. Mammal. Together, we are farmers. But like, not the insurance company, you know? So at the end of last episode, I completed Desert Treasure and Family Crest, and with that, I have all of the quest requirements done for Recipe for Disaster, and ultimately, my Barrow's Gloves. However, I do still have to do the King of Wowoge and the Ceramic Vars uh, RFD subquests. Now, the requirements I'm missing for that are, first and foremost, 70 cooking. Now, I got my cooking up quite a bit by cooking the fish that I got from Temporos. And to finish it off, I spent level 65 to 70 at the Mess Hall in Hosidius. Uh, this is, I would say, kind of an underknown method, but uh, it's over 200k cooking XP per hour if you are, you know, relatively efficient at it. And it's really simple. Pretty much you just grab all the ingredients, you make pineapple pizzas, you hand it in, and boom, you get some free XP. And this should be the last deposit, and there we go. There is level 70 cooking. That I think is the last stat requirement I have for RFD, so. Okay, so to do the King of Wowoge part of RFD, I need to get some Gree Grees. Uh, I should actually save these Ibans casts, I think, for the big boys, because they're going to be a pain in the ass, so. This water blast is terrible. Uh, telegrab the monkey bones. You might be able to grab them without telegrabbing, but... Uh, now, up next, I need to get a Gorilla uh, Grigri. Luckily, these things only heal if you're in melee distance, so I can just far cast this bad boy, and he won't heal. Nothing to worry about. And then last but not least, you need the Zombie Monkey Bones. All three Grigris play a very important part in the subquest. Uh, the Archer's one you need for the Agility Course. The Gorilla one you need to harvest some bananas. And the Zombie one you need to actually access the area to cook the snake. Okay, here we go. These stuffed snakes are notorious for burning. <laughs> I'm very nervous. I made two of them just in case. I'm nervous I'm going to burn both of them. Okay, moment of truth. Ah, nice. Well, out of curiosity's sake, do we cook them both? How good am I, man? Fucking little Gordon Ramsay zombie monkey over here. Okay, here you go, King of Wo Gay. Maybe you should wear your amulet of monkey speak. Well, maybe I should, game, okay. 10k cooking, 10k agility XP, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so up first in the Ceramic Vars mini quest, you have to kill the evil chicken. Which, I mean, you just gotta pray mage, but at my stats, <laughs> it might take a little bit. Okay, it's dead. Now we grab the evil chicken's egg, and <laughs> speaking of things taking forever, uh, I am going to try to bone crossbow a black dragon at level 42 range. This is gonna be so shit, dude. This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a timer. Actually, I'm curious. All right, I ran a timer. It took eight minutes and 42 seconds. That's actually less time than I expected. Let's uh, honestly. 8.42. I actually love this guy. I don't know where he would come from, but if this guy could be a pet, I would be all for it. Okay, and last but not least, we use the Brulee Supreme on Ceramic Vars. And that is all of the subquests completed. Now, we just have to do the boss fights. Before we can go fight these bad boys, I need to imbue my Ivan staff as it is all out of charges. So, I can upgrade it to hold 2,500 charges. Uh, that'll cost you 200,000 coins. Here's 200,000 coins. Please upgrade the staff. Now, the question is, does it recharge it for me as well? It does. Oh, thank you, bro. You're the best. And the first of the RFD boss fights is definitely the most difficult. You've got Agrith Non. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Names are hard. You got the banana dude, okay? You'd think he'd be right up my alley, but he is tough. So not only is... Well, the thing is, you're supposed to melee him, right? But at my stats, meleeing him is really just not an option. So instead, you use Ivan's Blast, and it's really inaccurate. 
The thing is, though, accuracy doesn't affect your max hit, of course, so you can still hit 25s with the Ivans, which is what you're banking on happening, because uh, he smacks you. Like, he does a lot of damage to you, and you splash a lot. So, uh, he was the most difficult one. I had to actually leave, I think, twice, maybe three times, uh, but eventually we, we did get him. It's so close, man. The Ring of Recoil legit killed it. Whew. Thank God. Ring of Recoil got it. Clutch. Boss number two is extremely easy. You have Flam Bead. He's like a giant cake fella. For this one, all you really have to do is wear ice gloves and run around the room and kite him. So, it's kind of like Sarah God Wars, except there, Zilliana's got the cake, and here, this guy is the cake. Well, that one was substantially easier. And next up, we have Caramel. Now, this one is also relatively easy, but I would describe it as pretty annoying. It's modeled after the Ice Diamond boss from Desert Treasure, uh, so it uses both melee and magic. Oh, interesting fun fact. Its melee animation is literally the Carol's crossbow shot without holding a Carol's crossbow. Why that is the melee animation, I have no idea. But I, I noticed that, and I just, it's always stuck with me. Um, for this one, you just have to pretty much stand in melee distance. Hope that it melees you a lot. Because when it mages you, it yells, Semolina, go. Uh, it drains your stats, so you have to use restore potions for that. So you pretty much just stand in melee distance and hope it melees you a lot. <clears throat> Ma'am, you are supposed to be dead. Okay, next up we have Dessert. I feel like I'm supposed to wear armor for this one. You do indeed wear armor for this one because he has no mage defense whatsoever, and you can tell. I absolutely cooked this guy. I, I mean, if you can tell a common theme here, Ivan's Blast is very good for the pretty much all of the RFD bosses, except for one. And yeah, this guy doesn't have a whole lot of HP, and you, I just gave him the work. And then we have the Gelatin Mother. Definitely the scariest of all the RFD bosses. Not the most difficult. I want to clarify, not the most difficult, but definitely the most scary as a hardcore. The reason why, when the, gel when the Gelatinin Mother attacks you, she hits you twice. And each individual hit has a max hit of 20. Meaning that if you got unlucky, you could, you could be dealt 40 damage in one game tick. Now, this is why you bring combo food. As you can see, I don't have all Carambuans. I have both, I have Swordfish and Carambuans. Well, that's because, you know, if you do get stacked for a 20-20, okay, I'm, I'm 49 hit points, so I, it literally can't one at me. But if you were to eat too slowly, and it, you know, backed, heaven forbid, it back-to-back -back hits you a ton of damage, you could die. So, you pretty much gotta be ready to combo eat ASAP. Other than that, though... I only used magic, I didn't bring a range or a melee switch, and you just hit the boss once and walk under, and pray to god that it doesn't hit you big. See bro, she's scary man. She can do so much damage. Okay, that's it then. We'll just grab Ivan's for Colin Aeromancer and we're golden. Oh, there it is. There is recipe for disaster completed on the group Hardcore Iron Man. We didn't die, thank goodness. Whew. 176 quest points now. Uh, what level do you need to use this antique lamp? 50! Oh, please tell me I can bank this, please. Okay, now, here is the current predicament that I'm in. I've got 15k to my name, Barrow's gloves are 130k, now if I look in the group storage, there is enough money there, but barely, and I still need to buy a D-skim eventually, so, 
I don't know. I should probably try to make some money. Okay, I'll pay it back. I, I, I'll, I'll pay it back with interest. I'll put 130k in and a big old smooch, okay? <laughs> I'll pay it back. Buy items. Barrows gloves. Whew, there they are, baby. Yeah, wow. Let's show them off, Jordan. Yeah, nice, nice camera angle, you donkey. There they are. Beautiful. The farmers grow. So, now that I've completed Barrow's Gloves, I need to start training up my melee stats, namely 60 attack for a dragon skin. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna do the Haunted Mine quest for some strength XP. Dead, maybe? Nice. Cool. Got it. And there's the haunted mine done. That took that takes about 15 minutes for 22k strength XP. Easy peasy. Now, the other reason I wanted to do the haunted mine quest was I'm gonna use this salve amulet to train here at the Twisted Banshees. Twisted Banshees with a salve are pretty decent XP, and they have very good loot. They drop good herbs. They can drop rune full helms for alchables. They can drop, like, cosmic runes. So, I'm gonna spend a few hours here and, uh, we'll see what kind of loot we get. Nice, okay. It's no rune full helm, but it's... It's it's about half of one. Quite literally. That's like a, a 11k alk. Not bad. <laughs> R.I.P. Wait, what's the drop rate on those? Oh, no. <laughs> if I had to make a, a guess, those are probably pretty damn rare. Mystic Gloves Dark. And they only high out for 6k, that's unfortunate. Well, I just disconnected very briefly, but I, I had a bit of lag there, and I don't want to risk it, so... I'm gonna stop killing Twisted Banshees there. Um, I am currently level 55 attack, so we got 5 attack levels. And I got 249k in loot. 7 Rs. Uh, some air battle stabs. So, you know, for my level, really not bad loot at all and some pretty decent XP. Hey, and when I deposit the money from this trip, we're over 100k. So we can even afford a D-skim now. Nice, that makes me happy. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. At long last, there we go. There is level 60 attack. Uh, it is 5.11 in the morning right now. I started at 40, or sorry, I started at 50 attack at about midnight, so. Uh, between the Banshees and then now killing the Ammonite Crabs. Took about 5 hours, but there we go. There is level 60 attack. Let's go buy that D-skim. You know, I just got here and I don't have my monkey speak amulet. I hope I'm able to trade without it. I, I feel like I prop. okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Alright, 100,000 coins down the drain, but there is a very big upgrade from our rune skim. You're now the proud owner of a dragon skimitar. Alright, I think I'm gonna go do a relatively iconic quest that I just haven't gotten around to doing yet, and that is the Fremnic Trials. Main reason being is it's a prerequisite for Olaf's quest. Olaf's quest gives you, like, I don't know, a bunch of defense XP, so let's, uh, let's do the Fremnic Trials. Okay, now that we're down here, let's cheat. You can bring a Draymond branch with you uncut, and then craft it into a Draymond staff. It's not like a lot better than punching, but it is an upgrade. Oh yeah, let me use Prey Melee Zone. Wait, what? You can use Prayer down here? What the fuck? What the fuck? I thought you couldn't pray! What? <laughs> what? Alright, then we just talked to my homie Brunt the Chieftain, and that will be the Fremnic Trials quest completed. You get a bunch of XP in a shitload of skills. I don't know if that gave me levels or anything. It did. 42 crafting, 38 fletching. Right, I'm gonna go do Olaf's quest now, and hopefully I don't fall on those stupid barrels a million times. Watch me, watch me first try this. <laughs> What? It takes you all the way back here? That is toxic as hell. Oh my god. Only 49 kilograms. That surely won't be a problem. 
I, d I, d I didn't even like start. What? I, I, I didn't even like fucking put a foot on there. Okay, listen, I banked all my armor, alright? I brought boots of lightness. Apparently your weight doesn't even matter, but you know what? It's it's gonna help, I promise. I guarantee it. <laughs> Fuck! Spam click gate. Yeah, good advice, motherfucker. Well, okay, listen, this is as far as we've ever made it. You home free, buddy. Surely they don't let you fall this far in. Okay. That would just be so cruel. Olaf's quest completed for 20,000 coins and a free defense level. We take those. Well, now that I've got a dragon scimitar, I've done a bit more questing and some barrows for fun today. It is time to get my stats up. My next big objective should definitely be a dragon defender. I need to get 65 attack and 65 strength. Now, I'm going to do that through Slayer. Earlier today, Papa Foe spooned four black masks. He got black masks for the whole team. So, trading through Slayer is going to be a lot quicker now. Thanks, Dad. Alright, I can get a task from Shaldar and Zanaris, but I guarantee she's going to sign me baloney. So, we'll just go with Vanica because he should be kinder to me. But what the hell is that? Ahem. <clears throat> there is the otherworldly being's task completed. We went from 27 to 31 Slayer. Got a strength level, almost another one. The loot was... I mean, 40 nature runes, 8 laws. Like, yeah, it could have been worse. 109 trolls. Not a bad task XP-wise. They're annoying because they're not 4 tick, but that's a little better XP-wise anyway. Okay, there's a 109 troll task completed. We're now up to 59 strength, almost 60, and 36 slayer. Very good. There's a bit of a milestone coming in. Just got level 60 strength, so we are 60 attack and strength. Five more levels in each before we can get to the big dragon defender. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. We are now 60 attack and strength. We've got a D skim. Things are looking up combat-wise. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon.